What happens to the human body during an implosion? When a submarine is subjected to extreme pressure, it can lead to an implosion. During an implosion, the submarine's hull collapses inward, causing catastrophic damage to the vessel and its crew. Submarine implosions are rare but can occur due to a variety of reasons, including design flaws, human error, or external factors such as depth charges. Understanding the causes and effects of submarine implosions is crucial to improving the safety of submarines and their crews. Researchers use modeling and simulation to study how submarines withstand implosions and to identify potential design flaws or vulnerabilities. By learning more about the physics of submarine implosions, engineers can develop stronger and more resilient submarine hulls that can withstand extreme pressure at greater depths. Understanding Submarine Implosion Submarine implosion is a catastrophic event that occurs when the external water pressure exceeds the internal pressure of the submarine. This can happen when a submarine dives too deep or when it sustains damage that compromises its structural integrity. The implosion can result in the collapse of the submarine's hull, leading to the loss of the vessel and its crew. When a submarine hull collapses, it moves inward at about 1,500 miles per hour, 2,414 kilometers per hour, that's 2,200 feet, 671 meters, per second, says Dave Corley, a former U.S. nuclear submarine officer. The time required for complete collapse is about one millisecond, or one thousandth of a second. A human brain responds instinctually to a stimulus at about 25 milliseconds, Mr. Corley says. Human rational response, from sensing to acting, is believed to be at best 150 milliseconds. The air inside a sub has a fairly high concentration of hydrocarbon vapors. When the hull collapses, the air auto-ignites and an explosion follows the initial rapid implosion, Mr. Corley says. Human bodies incinerate and are turned to ash and dust instantly. Going into more details, the pressure of water increases with depth, and at a certain point, it can exceed the strength of the submarine's hull. When this happens, the hull begins to deform, and the metal begins to buckle and collapse. The implosion can occur suddenly and without warning, leaving little time for the crew to react. During an implosion, the pressure differential between the inside and outside of the submarine can be enormous. The water pressure can be several times greater than the atmospheric pressure inside the vessel. This pressure differential can cause the hull to collapse inwards, crushing the crew and equipment inside. To withstand the external water pressure, submarines are designed with thick, strong hulls that can resist deformation and collapse. However, even the strongest submarines have limits to how deep they can dive and how much pressure they can withstand. Notable Submarine Implosions Submarine implosions are catastrophic events that can occur due to various reasons such as structural failure, explosion, or pressure changes. Ocean Gate Incident On June 19, 2023, a tourist submarine named Titan owned by Ocean Gate Expeditions went missing while diving to visit the wreckage of the Titanic, which sank in 1912. The submersible was carrying five people, including three tourists, a pilot, and a scientist. The incident sparked a massive search and rescue effort in the North Atlantic with naval experts and rescue teams racing against time to locate the missing sub. Three days after the sub's disappearance, debris was found near the site of the Titanic wreckage that matched materials used in the construction of the Titan submersible. Experts suspect the debris indicates that the submersible suffered a catastrophic implosion. All five passengers are presumed dead. Design and Construction of Submarines Submarines are designed to operate underwater, and their construction is unique compared to other vessels. The design of a submarine is divided into two main parts, the hull and the internal structure. The hull is the outer shell of the submarine, which provides buoyancy and protects the internal structure from the external environment. The internal structure includes the machinery, equipment, and crew spaces. The hull is usually made of steel, which is strong and durable, but modern submarines are also made of carbon fiber and titanium. These materials are lightweight, strong, and corrosion-resistant, which makes them ideal for use in submarines. The use of these materials has allowed submarines to be built with greater depth capabilities, increased maneuverability, and improved stealth. The construction of a submarine involves a complex process that includes welding, riveting, and bolting. The welds are critical to the strength and integrity of the submarine's hull, and they must be of the highest quality. The welding process is subject to strict quality control measures to ensure that the submarine can withstand the immense pressure of the deep sea. The design and construction of submarines are subject to strict safety regulations to ensure that they can operate safely and reliably. The safety regulations cover all aspects of the submarine's design, construction, and operation. These regulations are designed to prevent accidents and minimize the risks to the crew. When a submarine implodes, it is usually due to the external and internal pressure not being equalized. 
the implosion can occur when the submarine is at great depths, and the pressure on the hull becomes too great for it to withstand. The implosion can cause catastrophic damage to the submarine, and it can lead to the loss of the crew. Safety Measures and Protocols When it comes to submarine implosions, safety measures and protocols are of utmost importance to ensure the well-being of the crew members. These protocols are designed to prevent accidents from happening and to minimize the damage caused by any potential implosions. One of the most important safety protocols is the use of a pressure chamber. This chamber is used to simulate the high pressure conditions that crew members may experience. Rescue Operations In the event of a submarine implosion, rescue operations are launched to save any survivors. The U.S. Coast Guard is often the first to be notified of a submarine emergency and coordinates the search and rescue mission. The Coast Guard's primary mission is to locate and rescue survivors while also providing support to the Navy during the rescue operation. The search and rescue process begins with the deployment of rescue vehicles and equipment, such as remotely operated vehicles ROFs, to locate the submarine and assess the situation. ROFs are used to search the ocean floor for the submarine wreckage and to provide a visual assessment of the damage. Effects on the ocean floor When a submarine implodes, the effects on the ocean floor can be significant. The implosion creates a shock wave that can travel through the water and cause damage to the surrounding area. The shock wave can displace sediment, create craters, and even trigger underwater landslides. The debris field left behind by the implosion can also have a significant impact on the ocean floor. Large pieces of the submarine, such as the hull or machinery, can break apart and scatter across the ocean floor. This debris can create obstacles for marine life and can even damage underwater infrastructure such as pipelines or communication cables. The sea floor is an unforgiving environment, and the effects of a submarine implosion can be long-lasting. The shock wave created by the implosion can cause damage to the surrounding ecosystem, including coral reefs and other sensitive habitats. The debris field left behind can also be a hazard to marine life, as it can entangle or trap animals. Role of Submarines in Scientific Research Submarines have played a significant role in scientific research for many years. Scientists use submarines to explore the depths of the ocean and study the creatures that live there. Submarines also help scientists to study the ocean floor and the geological processes that shape it. One of the most important uses of submarines in scientific research is in the study of marine biology. Submarines can travel to depths that are impossible for humans to reach, allowing scientists to study deep-sea creatures and their behavior. Submarines can also be used to collect samples of seawater, sediment, and marine life, which can then be analyzed in a laboratory. Submarines are also used in geology research. By studying the ocean floor, scientists can learn about the geological processes that shape our planet. Submarines can collect samples of rocks and sediment from the ocean floor, which can then be analyzed to learn more about the history of the Earth. Another important use of submarines in scientific research is in the study of oceanography. By studying the ocean currents, temperatures, and salinity levels, scientists can learn more about how the ocean affects our climate and weather patterns. Submarines can be used to collect data on these factors, allowing scientists to create more accurate models of the Earth's climate. Despite the important role that submarines play in scientific research, they can also be dangerous. Submarines are designed to withstand the immense pressure of the deep sea, but they are not invincible. Submarine implosions can occur if the pressure becomes too great, causing the submarine to collapse in on itself. Scientists must take great care when using submarines in their research to ensure the safety of the crew and the success of the mission.